Good morning, everybody. This is Sean with Future Elves Welding. I just realized I hadn't done a video in a while. So let's see what we got going on today. <clears throat> got a fella bought a uh, gooseneck trailer. It's an older Hudson. I think it's a 90s model. But uh, seems to be in decent shape other than the boards. But he does not like the old coupling. I'm not that familiar with it, but he said it's a pain in the butt to hook it up and unhook it from his truck. So we're going to cut that off. And we are going to install a new coupling. Nice brand new. This is made by Bulldog. But uh, that's what he provided for me to put on his trailer. And if we have time before he needs it back, we're going to take this box off, this jack off, and we're going to install dual jacks. One probably right here, one on the other side, even and run a piece of pipe between them so he can operate both jacks at the same time. So I'm having a little issues with my GoPro batteries. They're all dead, so I'm charging those. So I'm starting this video with my phone. We'll see how this goes. Also, update on my bed. I am still running the same bed. I did change the hinges yet another time because I was on a job. My truck was covered in salt. It was in Indiana, so I went to a pressure washer, sprayed my truck off, well, overnight, the water got in the hinges and froze, and when I flipped the box up, the hinge broke, the box lid fell right off. So I got these nice, heavy-duty, uh, weld-on, greasable hinges now, and I've had them on for probably six or eight months. Haven't had an issue yet, knock on wood. Um, I got them on all of my boxes, and I'm keeping them greased. You can see my... Raptor liners coming off here and there in little spots, but I'm going to touch that up when it gets warm again. But other than that, loving the bed still. Does a great job for me. So let's see if we can get going on this uh, coupling. So since we're going back with something that's shaped the same, just the coupling at the bottom is different. I took the Metabo, made nice clean cuts clean up all the welds before we go to weld the new one on. It's already cut loose right here. Let's see how this goes. Like butter. We'll clean all that up. Get the new one fitted in. Weld it up. So before I put the new coupling on, what I did was, I don't know if y'all can see that. Like I said, I'm charging my GoPro batteries. Let's see here. Anyway, I leveled the straight part on the tongue that way I don't have to worry about fighting with squares and all kind of stuff to try to even up the coupling I can just make sure the coupling is completely plumb and it'll be a 90 degree angle to those bars right there and then it will be plumb with the uprights so that way his trailer will still pull like it needs to and his coupling won't be crooked Got a deed to the land, but it ain't my ground. This is God's country. We pray for rain and thank Him when it's falling, cause it brings a grain and a little bit of money. We put it back in a plate, I guess that's why they call it God's country. I saw the light in a sunrise, sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside, getting baptized. And holy water and shine with the dogs running Say by the sound of a pin found Dixie whistle in the wind That'll get you heaven bound The devil went down to Georgia But he didn't stick around This is God's country We turn the dirt and work Until the week's done We take a break and break bread On Sunday then do it all again Cause we're proud to be from God
my time, lay me six feet deep in God's country. Between joy and pain It's a long, strange trip It's all insane You ain't never gonna be the same Living life through the night Thin line of a lightning strike Sometimes the only light When the moon is tucked away Pistons pumping Minds are racing It's hard to sleep, man when I'm shaking, bad news surrounds me. It's always found me creeping up when things are good. Yeah, the dark days find a way. Loud thunder, heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip. It's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Living life through the night, thin line. The lightning strike Sometimes the only light When the moon is tucked away The camera captures All the things that Make us turn from What we see It's always rolling It don't stop rolling I haven't slept in three damn days yeah, but who needs that anyway? Loud, thunder, heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Living life through the night, thin line of the lightning strike. Sometimes the only light when the moon is tucked away.
Just want to let y'all see what I got going on over here. Now I have to pull this jack out and cut all the stuff out of the way so I can mount these two together. So instead of hooking it to my truck, which I have a gooseneck hitch, I'll put a jack stand under here, which is good for 2,500 pounds. Put a jack stand over here. It's actually a mobile pipe vise, but same difference. I think it's good for another 2,500. Then I'm going to run this jack up. That way we can cut it all out and put the new ones in. So sometimes you got to think a little outside the box. You know, it's way too big for mechanics jack stands. And I darn sure don't have enough wood to stack under there. And I didn't feel like putting my truck under there and shooting sparks all over it. So. Impressions on the inside of her thigh There are little feathered Indians Where we tussle through the night If I'd known she was religious Then I wouldn't have came stoned To the house of such an angel Who fucked up to get back Smoking spirits on the roof She asked, ain't anybody told you That them things are bad for you I said, many folks have warned me There have been several people try But up till now there ain't been nothing That I couldn't leave behind Hold me close, my dear Sing your whispering song Across the river just to hold you tonight. Well, my heart is sweating bullets from. 
run the circles it has raised like a little feathered engine calling out the clouds for rain. I go running through the thicket, I go careless through the thorns just to hold her for a minute, though it leave me wanting more. Hold me close, my try this again this cold weather is killing these batteries fast so <clears throat> y'all didn't see this I went to the shed to uh, cut these two pieces of pipe right here to make this piece and I drilled that with my drill press to make it a little easier but obviously that had to be installed at the same time the second jack was installed so we got the first jack y'all saw the other day it's all welded up paint jobs not the best but never professed to be a painter so the customer's on the way to pick it up. As you can see, the trailer's being held up by the jacks. And that jack's put in. What I didn't notice was the handle. I didn't check that before I welded the jack in. And the handle was smacking the trailer. So I called the customer. I told him what I did. He said, whatever you need to do to fix it, as long as it works. So I cut a three inch piece of pipe, cut the handle apart, welded it back together works like a champ clears the trailer added the uh, little hanger everything's good everything works as y'all saw the other day coupling is done he's uh, on the way to get that now he should be here any minute I'm sure he's gonna be real happy considering as y'all saw how it shook before and it don't shake at all so as always if you like what you see uh click the subscribe button give me a thumbs up click that little bell to get notified when i post new videos which i haven't been doing very often but i'm going to try to fix that situation um and thank you for watching and god bless